What's up guys? Look, I got a cool compliment today and I hope you guys don't think it's a humble brag, but um, I think you're going to find it interesting and I'll explain. Uh, so I'm at, I'm in Jackson. I'm at this uh, meeting today. I'm getting some uh, CME uh, in medical marijuana. Um, and uh, one of the speakers uh, that was about to give a lecture came up and found me uh, and and I know him, you know, um, and he was just kind of, you know, we were just chit-chatting and he just told me that like, He's like, he thought I was one of the most progressive uh, thinkers um, in the medical world in Mississippi. And then he actually said, he said, he said, maybe it's beyond progressive. And I, anyway, I just thought that was a very uh, cool description. Interesting. I don't know. You definitely wouldn't think I was, you know, progressive politically. So it had nothing to do with that. Um, I, and I really just think it's because I've always uh, had, I was, been a strong advocate for patients who struggle with things like addiction and chronic pain and mental illness. Uh, some of the things that oftentimes get stigmatized um, and whether they're undertreated, mistreated, or just kind of pushed aside by some of the medical world. Now, I, I really think most doctors are doing the best they can, you know, and there are, even if you've had bad experience with doctors, I know so many doctors that are really care about their patients and really won't you know, the best thing for them. So I'm definitely not trying to say, uh, you know, there's a few of us out there. No, that's crazy. And we all make mistakes, you know, but um, I just thought that was uh, very cool. And especially, and I think also it had to do with the fact that, you know, I've kind of, I was vocal about uh, thinking that marijuana should be legalized, uh, which, and now in the state of Mississippi, we do have a medical marijuana program. Um, now that does not mean that there's not risk to marijuana. Um, and as, as I've, I think I did a video or maybe I wrote an article about it, that two of the most dangerous drugs there are, marijuana and video games. Now, not because those two things are dangerous. I have nothing against either of them. It's because to me, that's like symbolizes this culture of apathy. And that's not what I'm about. I'm not about an apathetic life. You know, I say reject apathy, fight nihilism, love your neighbor. Um, that's what I advocate. Um, but if we're talking about treating addiction, let's, let's say, how do we advocate, um, or how as, uh, um, someone in the medical world, how do you best treat addiction? Um, well, I think it starts with this. Okay. You treat it like anything else, meaning you give patients, uh, respect, dignity, you give them close follow-up you give them the ability to improve and grow maybe even and not even not maybe just and the ability to make mistakes learn from those mistakes and get better over time um, that's how you lay a solid foundation for treatment success now our and if you're going through that that process, you're making improvements, you're growing, that in itself is a success. You, st you still might be struggling with something. You know, there might be something that you just haven't quite kicked yet. Um, but don't give up. Do not give up. Keep fighting no matter what. Every day is a new day, and every day you have to begin begin again, man. That's why, like, one of the best things that ever came out of the AA meetings was, you know, you take one day out of a time, one day at a time. And it, it's become a cliche, but it is so true because every day you have to make the decision to fight. Every day you have to make the decision to get out of bed and live your life. Every day you have to make a decision to do hard things, hard things that will make your life better in the long run. That's why I say reject apathy, fight nihilism, and love your neighbor. Uh, 